How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Wednesday Bible Study. And I have been chosen as a preacher and apostle to teach the Gentiles this message about faith and truth. I'm not exaggerating, just telling the truth. In every place of worship, I want men to pray with holy hands lifted up to God, free from anger and controversy. And I want women to be modest in their appearance. They should wear decent and appropriate clothing and not draw attention to themselves by the way they fix their hair or by wearing gold or pearls or expensive clothes. For women who claim to be devoted to God should make themselves attractive by the good things they do. Of course, the godly things. Women should learn quietly and submissively. Let the women learn in silence with all subjection. King James. I do not let women teach men or have authority over them. Now, I will tell you today, I know women who are in truth and their husbands are not. So, of course, in that particular case, the rules are reversed. They have to do their thing. Per Luke 14, 26, King James Version, Bible Gateway. If any man come to me and hate not his father, mother, wife, children, brethren, sisters, see, see the wife or husband, right? You got to hate on them. It's not an emotional hatred. But you got to hate on the things they do. But in the household, if the husband is in truth and the wife is in truth, the husband will love his wife. She will love him. And that's all explained in, in various epistles. They're just meaning she's not the preacher or teacher of the household if the husband isn't truth. So you have to take all of this, what it's saying in context. Let them listen quietly for God have made Adam first and afterward have made Eve. And it was not Adam who was deceived by Satan. The woman was deceived and the sin was the result. But the woman will be saved through the childbearing, assuming they continue to live in faith, love, holiness, and modesty. Again, that's just sheep. Sheep women have no trouble with this when they have a sheep husband. The Lord puts it in their hearts not to have that rebellious state. And, the, and God will, of course, give the man the ability to be a man. In today's world, most men are just not real men anymore. <clears throat> he is trustworthy of saying, aspires to be a church leader. He desires to be an honorable position. So the church leader must be a man whose life is above reproach. He must be faithful to his wife. He must exercise self-control, live wisely, have a good reputation. He must enjoy having guests in his home, as, you know, sheep, of course, and he must be able to teach. He must not be a heavy drinker or be violent. He must be gentle, not quarrelsome, and not love money. Let's continue on in Daniel concerning the Antichrist. And I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made known to me the interpretation of the thing. These great beasts, which are for our four kings, which shall arise out of the earth in the end times. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So this goes back and forth, talking about Satan's dominion, then God's winning over that. Satan's dominion on the earth for that short time. Then I would know the truth of the four beasts, which were diverse from all the other exceedingly dreadful, and whose teeth were of iron, and his nails of brass, which devoured and break in pieces, and stamped the residue with his feet. And of the ten horns that were in his head, and the other which came up, and before whom all three fell, even of that horn that had eyes, and a mouth that spake great things, whose look was more stout than his fellows, I beheld, and that same hour, that same horn made war with the saints. So this is now the beginning of Trump's five multiple addresses, 721 through 725. And I think in my Bible studies, I include 25 in this. Yeah. 
I had it marked in the book. Move this to 25. So Trump Tower has five multiple addresses, 721 through 725 Fifth Avenue that perfectly match the Little Horn of Daniel 7 passage. Now beheld the horn. Of course, Trump, Trump is a horn. Jesus said he would be here in his own name, and he is. Trump, horn, horn, Trump. Uh, Jesus said he'd be here in his own name in John 5, 43. I come in my father's name. Father's name and you receive me not, but if one shall come in his own name, him you will receive. And of course, he is received over there. Jesus was speaking to the Jews and Trump's on three different temple coins in Israel. They make war with the saints. It's called the Great Tribulation. And during the Great Tribulation, at the end of the Trump Tower address of 725, 721 through 725 Fifth Avenue, here's Daniel 725, shall wear out the saints. So, of course. The Antichrist prevails. And I beheld that same hour, that same horn, made war with the saints and prevailed against them until the Ancient of Days. Again, they win, and God wins. Until the, it's, it's, it's back and forth, from verse to verse. Until the Ancient of Days came in judgment and was given to the saints of the Most High, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Already been stated, two or three previous times in today's study. And then it goes back to the Antichrist kingdom again. Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, which shall be diverse from all the kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and shall tread it down and break it into pieces. And the 10 horns out of the kingdom are 10 kings that shall arise and another shall rise after them. This is all in Revelation 13 also and shall be diverse from the first and he shall subdue three kings and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and the laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and a dividing of times. Love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.